So I'm now going to demonstrate a, uh, a more complicated topic, um, which is uh, circle theorems in shapes. And uh, the lesson is the, uh, the cyclic quadrilateral rule. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, play now. And um, because Prodigy is adaptive, it knows that I haven't played this lesson before. And so it's starting me off with easy questions. So um, here is, um, here is uh, a simple one, uh, just about triangles. And this is a, a prerequisite topic that builds into the cyclic quadrilaterals rule. So um, here we are at diagram X. X equals uh, uh, 100, uh, Z equals 20. So we know that uh, a triangle has 180 degrees. Therefore, that must be 60. And here it's asking us if um, x plus y um, equals uh, 180 degrees. And, um, and here, uh, this is a, a new, a new uh, concept for me, so I don't, uh, I'm going to ask for a hint about this. And it's telling us that x and y are opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral. The hint is specific to the question, um, but actually I'm, I'm, still kind of, uh, I'm still kind of confused. Um, and, uh, and so I'm going to ask for a solution on this. So here it's telling us, okay, that it is a cyclic quadrilateral. The angles are opposite. Therefore, x and y equals 180. So, uh, okay, so that's told us. Okay, now we can, we've gained knowledge. Let's go ahead and try and, uh, and, try and use that knowledge. The next question asks us uh, that, and we just found out that that is false. And um, here's another one, x for size, uh, they must be uh, 180 minus 4, so that's, I think that's 120. And again, we just learned that earlier, so I think uh, that's definitely true. So, um, because we answered three questions in a row uh, uh, correctly, Prodigy has upgraded us to medium level, and it's given us a new, uh, a new shape here, and it said, uh, this is a cyclic quadrilateral. Now, there's no circle, um, uh, but I can see that these opposite angles don't add up to 180, so it's, it's uh, clearly false. And here, uh, the shape inside, the, is it a quadrilateral? Well, all of the angles are um, touching, uh, touching the side, uh, but does that mean uh, it's a cyclic quadrilateral? Um, I don't know actually, so maybe I just asked for a hint. Inside a circle, all four corners touching the edge. Well, I think that is certainly true, isn't it? So, uh, yes. Uh, with at least one corner. That's false. I, can, I know we just looked at that. So now we've got, with a little bit of help from Prodigy, we have upgraded to hard. We got three questions right, and now we're in hard. So in the sixth, so y equals 70 and z equals uh, 25. Uh, what's the size of angle x? Um, well, I actually have no idea. So I'm just going to press solve here. <laughs> uh, okay, let's uh, add up to one of these angle equals uh, 185 so ABC is a cyclic quadrilateral so that was given um, okay I think that's helped us so the angle is, is 75 okay so that oh nine I know that that has to be one 180 minus 75 so we did quite well here. We started off in easy. We didn't really know very much about cyclic quadrilaterals. We asked for a couple of hints um, just over here. And, uh, and then we, we, um, we had to ask for a solution up here because it got really tricky. But we still ended up on hard. And we made a score of 4479. So um, if we uh, now choose another activity, we can see that, um, that we passed because we learned the, the very basics, um, even though we've only played once. And, uh, but we might go back and play that again because there was clearly more there. And that's the end of this lesson.